Hello, I'm David Swanson and this is MathsWithDavid.com. Today we're going to be working through a binomial expansions question from the P3 paper. Specifically, it's question two from the 2017 Summer Pure Mathematics 3 Cambridge International A-Levels paper. We'll start by reading carefully through the question. Expand 1 over the cube root of 1 plus 6x in ascending powers of x, up to and including the term in x cubed, simplifying the coefficients. So, straightforward binomial expansions question here. We're going to use our formula, which is given in the Cambridge exams formula book, which is 1 plus x to the n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n times by n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus n times by n minus 1 times by n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed plus, and then we've got a quartic term, etc. But we only need to go up to cubic in this question. Uh, and that's valid for the mod of x is less than 1. So we've got 1 plus 6x to the power of minus a third. We don't need to alter this in any way because it's got a 1 there as we've got in the formula. Our 6x is going to be what is called our x in the formula. So everywhere we see x in the formula, we're going to use 6x. And our n is going to be this minus 1 over 3. So therefore, applying the formula, we get this equal to 1 plus minus a third times by 6x plus minus a third times by minus four thirds divided by two factorial times by 6x all squared plus minus a third times by minus four thirds times by minus seven thirds divided by three factorial times by 6x all cubed plus a trail of, of terms that we don't need for our answer. So if we simplify that, we've got one minus a third times six is minus two, so one minus two x. And then we've got minus a third times by minus four thirds, which gives us minus four over nine. That's divided by four, uh, which gives us altogether four over 18. Uh, and that's times by 36 x squared. We can always check, first of all, our, our negatives. We've got negative times negative there, so this was clearly going to be a positive. If we look at the negatives in the next term, we've got negative times negative times negative, so this is going to be a negative. And on the top, we've got 4 times 7, which is 28, over 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, and then that's divided by 6, and that's all times by 216x cubed. So if we cancel out the 216 cancel with the 6 to leave 36, the 36 cancels with the 27 to leave 3, and so we've got 28 over 3 to leave 3 and to leave 4 on the top. So we've got 28 times by 4 over 3 x squared. So if we then read across our terms, we've got 1 minus 2x plus 8x squared minus 112 over 3 x cubed. Or if we want to put that as a mixed fraction, at the end there, that's 1 minus 2x plus 8x squared minus 37 and a third x cubed, plus all the remaining terms that we don't need for our answer. Um, the question hasn't asked us to show it, but we often do get asked in these questions to show what values it's valid for. If we were asked that, it's valid for mod of 6x is less than 1, or mod of x is less than 1 over 6, but we weren't asked that in this one. So let's see where the marks were assigned. We got one accuracy mark as long as we got one of the terms in the expansion other than one and without having to simplify it as long as it was accurate. We got second accuracy mark if we got the first two terms, one minus two x accurate. Another accuracy mark if we got the next term, eight x squared. And our fourth and final accuracy mark if we got the fourth term, minus 112 over three x cubed. Examiner's report, generally it was done very well. Some people omitted the coefficient 6, so they took just x instead of taking 6x in the formula as the x. It can be confusing sometimes because we see x in our formula and there's x in the thing itself. If you want to, you can think of the formula with a different variable like y to help avoid that confusion. So that's all for this session. Uh, we've got plenty of pure 3 mathematics questions and binomial expansions questions on the website. 
We'll put a link at the end so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get updated with new videos and also a link to the playlist of Pure 3 Mathematics questions. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in another video.